Hello guys, I'm Super Missiles, and today I'm playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Nintendo. Um, this is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Uh, it's pretty challenging, uh, the graphics are pretty sweet, and it's just fun. Uh, but like I said, it is kind of hard. Uh, so right now we're seeing uh, Arthur of Camelot, which is our character, and the lovely Princess Guinevere, his lady. Um, and unfortunately for Arthur, he's about to have a pretty bad day. Because this guy's going to kidnap our girl. Which is kind of a common thing in older platformers. Uh, so if maybe you were guessing we'd have to go save her, you'd be totally right. Uh, so that's what we're going to go do. Ready, go. Alright, so here we are. Um, basically, we're just Arthur and... Uh, we gotta beat the shit out of a bunch of ghouls, ghosts, zombies, baddies, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, unfor oh God. unfortunately, um, this game's kind of hard. Um, I uh, I've played a lot of it though, um, especially as a kid. I used to play the hell out of this game. Um, not that that's gonna make me do any, you know, any better. Um, but hopefully, I'm not complete garbage, and this is enjoyable for everyone. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a little bit of facts about this game. Oh, uh, here we go. Fact number one: get this knife. It is the best weapon in the game uh, for several reasons, and that is um, so there are actually a bunch of uh, weapon types in this game that you can pick up either from uh, hidden chests or just sometimes an enemy will drop them. Uh, so there's the javelin, the knife, the sickle, um, the torch, which is utter garbage. There's a... I don't know if it's just a bow or a crossbow, um, but that also kind of sucks. Um, and each uh, each weapon has its own... Um, uh, whoops. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. So each weapon has a certain amount of projectiles that it can have on screen at any given time. Uh, your starter weapon, the javelin, can have two. Um, things like the sickle and the torch can only have one on screen at a time. So when you're dealing with a lot of problems, it's, it's just garbage. Uh, but if you notice, the knife, it technically can only have three on screen at once. But they move so fast that y you can practically just spam it all day. And it's it's not too too low in terms of damage compared to the javelin. So, oh god. Okay, well, I'm a baby now, so that's cool. And this is going to kill me. This is going to get me killed. Yep. All right. Uh, well, as I was saying, so it's not... Uh, it's it's not much weaker than the javelin, uh, but it does travel faster and you can have more projectiles, so it's just better. Um, and with, with weapon upgrades, in, or I guess weapon changes in this game, uh, if you die, you, you keep whatever weapon you had on you uh, until you get a game over it, at least. Uh, so that's always really good. So once you get the knife, um, I mean, you're basically set for the rest of the game. Unless you... Whoops. Unless you accidentally run over um, another power-up. Um, which can and most... Damn it. And most likely will happen, because sometimes they just drop in, in places that you can't avoid them. Uh, and... Getting the knife, uh, especially if it takes you a long time to run across, uh, getting the knife and then losing it to an item that's just in your way is probably one of the most infuriating things in this game. Um, but it's going to happen. It is going to happen no matter what you do. At some point, I promise you, that will happen to you. Um, ooh, that's pretty close. But... Yeah. So, and there's also um, there's also armor upgrades you can get through uh, hidden chests if you're lucky enough. Um, but uh, if if you pay attention to what happened from that last chest, there's also um, there's a douchebag that hides in them sometimes. Uh, I think his name is the Court Jester. Uh, so basically, what happens is every now and then, this, yep, this fucking asshole right here will. Oh my god, that was so close. So that asshole. Oh, I don't want that either. He will pop out of chests and shoot his magic bullshit at you and turn you into something that will get you killed, most likely. 90% uh, of the time, if he hits you with his crap, you will get killed. Um, and I think he can, he can turn you into, like, a baby, which he did before. Uh, there's a village woman that he can turn you into. Um, 
I think it's a, there's a frog or a bee, something like that. Either way, when you when you get I don't want that. When you get uh transformed by the um, by that asshole, uh, the only action you can take is uh, jumping, and that's it. Like you can't attack. Uh, so basically, you have to play the huge coward game and try to avoid the enemies, uh, which is easier said than done in a lot of areas. Uh, so you want to try to avoid that guy as much as humanly possible. Um, yeah, I, I I hate that man. He is he's garbage. I hope he doesn't have any friends because. Well, all right. See, that's what happens. I should have been nice to him. I got what I deserved. So, anyway, yeah, like I said, this game's it's, it's not the easiest. Um, actually, there's another thing about this game that makes it pretty difficult. Although I will say it is fair in that if you die, 99% uh, of the time it is because of something you did. Uh, so, one of the, uh, I wouldn't say difficult, but one of the more challenging things in this game is actually jumping, which seems pretty arbitrary. Um, but in this game, when you jump, you are making a commitment. Um, if you jump at the wrong time, I mean, or in the wrong direction, you're you're pretty much dead because there's no way to save it. Uh, so if I jump left and try to maneuver myself to turn right, it nothing happens. When I jump to the left, I'm going left. Now the only way to stop that is to jump left and then double jump uh, in either the opposite direction or you know just to get yourself to a higher vantage point, something like that. But if you double jump um, and you're still going towards bad stuff, you're taking a hit. And there's nothing you can do about it. Which, uh, taking a hit in this game is... it's, it's pretty much a death sentence. So Arthur does have armor on right now. Um, if you get hit once, your armor is completely gone. Uh, and then you run around in your boxers. And if you get hit again, you're dead. Um, now, like I did mention, there are um, some armor upgrades in this game. So the first armor you can get from a chest is the green armor, which adds a secondary effect to your weapon and makes it a bit stronger. Uh, and then after that, there's a final armor that is the golden armor, which lets you do a, uh, a charge-up attack with any weapon. Oh, that was garbage. I was hoping to get some armor. Uh, but yeah, you can do a charge-up, um, and it makes a lot of weapons way better. Uh, but the bad thing is that even if you get your golden armor, which is the third tier armor, I guess, um, you if you get hit once, you lose everything. You you don't go from gold to green. You don't go uh, from green to iron or silver, whatever. You go to regular old boxer Arthur. Uh, so you don't get extra hits from gaining armor. Um, and that makes it pretty, pretty difficult. Uh, so yeah, here's the green armor I was talking about. And you can see that now my knives, um, they leave like a little little trail behind them. And it ups their damage. Uh, so it's pretty useful. Um, I mean, you, you want to try and stay... I mean, obviously you, you don't want to get hit. Um, that kind of goes without saying. But, you know, if you have your iron armor... Um, the chances of you finding an armor upgrade in a hidden chest is much higher. Um, at least from what I've seen. I don't know if that's actually a mechanic, or if I just got lucky, or, you know. Uh, but yeah, you, obviously you want to try to not get hit, because video games. Uh, it's easier said than done sometimes, though. Uh, especially in this game, because it can screw you. Uh, so, and actually, talking about uh, screwing you, this is one of the harder areas of the first stage because of this right here. So that little tidal wave, um, if you've never played on this stage before, there's no indication, it just shows up. Um, yeah, and, and, you know, it can, at first, it looks like, you know, it's just a nice little background effect. Nope. If you're standing anywhere but that stone, uh, when that tidal wave shows up, you are dead. Uh, same happens here. If you are mid-jump when it occurs, you are dead. If you're not on the stone, you are dead. If uh, you decided to take a knitting class and you were two seconds late out the door, you're dead. I don't know what that has to do with this game, but uh, the point is, if, if you're not standing on these stones when the water shows up, you're just completely fucked. Uh, so actually, now I have the uh, golden armor, 
So I can show you the charge attack, and each weapon has its own charge attack. Um, so the dagger is this little dragon head, which is kind of cool. It looks pretty sweet. Um, but unfortunately, with uh, how godlike the knife is, its, it's charge is pretty garbage. Um, so, I mean, you see it goes in this pattern, and that is, that's the pattern it, it uses. Oh my god. Um, that is the pattern that it will travel in all the time. Uh, it does not track enemies. Um, yeah, it just, it just flies in that little U-shape, and that's it. It will never change direction. Um, so actually, yeah, I'll show you. We have some enemies here. So we have these three butthole blobs or whatever. I missed them because... If it was tracking, the game would be too easy, and uh, screw you. So, yeah. Uh, but some of the weapons actually do get um, better attacks for charge. Um, I can't completely remember what they are, because I pretty much only use the knife. Uh, because why would you not? Um, uh, that... That was awesome. So one... One mistake. One mistake cost me um, all of the armor, not to mention my my life. Uh, so now I have to grab those armor upgrades uh, all over again, which um, there's never really a guarantee that you get them, at least to my knowledge. Um, yeah, so that that's that's something that's gonna happen a lot, um, especially to me because, like I said, I play this game quite a bit, but. Somehow, I've not become totally amazing at it. And you know what? I don't think I ever will. It's just kind of the, the nature of things. Uh, yeah, see, I don't I don't want that crossbow uh, because it's garbage. I would show it to you, uh, just how it works. But, I mean, I have the knife, uh, so no. Uh, if I accidentally lose uh, one of my, uh, my, my knife by... Uh, I don't know, sheer fucking luck, or misfortune, I guess. Uh, I'll show off some of the other weapons, but right now, there's no reason to do that whatsoever. And don't worry, I, I am going to uh, screw up and accidentally run over another weapon at some point. It, it It's impossible for me not to. Oh, hey, alright, so we got our gold armor again, uh, which is pretty good because we're coming up to our uh, our first boss fight. Uh, and it is the cockatrice, I believe. And actually, I'll show you how garbage this uh, special can be. So if I managed to hit him, and I did. So during that whole animation, um, I I am immobile. Uh, enemies are not. So if you if you need to kill something and you're using this and you miss, uh, you're you're basically it's a death sentence. Uh, so thankfully, with three charges, I can take that guy out, and I actually made that look pretty easy, but he can screw you over uh, if you're not careful. Um, so we're going to take a key for coming in. We're going to head over to the next level. That uh, it actually, it wasn't, it didn't go as poorly as I, um, as I expected. <clears throat> but have no fear, uh, because this is right about the time where I screw everything up. And you'll see why in a moment. Uh, now I know there, I th there's a hidden chest right here. Uh, I cannot, for the life of me, remember how you get it to spawn. Because um, there's some arbitrary bullshit you have to do sometimes to get them. Uh, but you know what? I've already got gold armor. There's not much else I can get from it. Um, so I mean, we're not, we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, and this, wow, that was quick. Oh, that's what I wanted. What? Okay. So those ghosts are the exact reason... Well, this is the exact reason that this is about to go completely fucking downhill. Uh, because they spawn infinitely. Uh, they spawn faster than the zombies in level 1 do. Um, and they can come from above you. So they're basically all-around assholes. Um, they do die in one hit, though, so that's pretty good. But... You'll probably see it. They, sometimes they just completely swarm you and overwhelm you. Um, not to mention all the other hazardous bullshit that's on this uh, this galleon, uh, like this pendulum. So now I have to not get hit by that thing, 
and dodge these stupid ass ghosts, uh, which is uncool. Yeah, and they just they constantly show up. They're all over the fucking place. Uh, and it's just a pain in the ass. I think there's a chest. Yeah, if you jump that way, uh, this chest will spawn. And well, all right. There's gonna be a whole lot of that going around. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think I mentioned it before. This is actually one of my favorite uh, Super Nintendo games. And it's uh oh yeah, there's the axe. I forgot about that. It, but it's garbage. I'm not gonna grab it. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite games. It's, uh, I, you know, I, I would suggest if you've never played this game for any reason that, uh, you go check it out. Um, actually, if you have a, uh, Nintendo 3DS, um, they did add this game to the eShop as a, uh, virtual console game. I think it's like seven or eight bucks, which is well, whoa, uh, well worth the price in my opinion. Um, and actually, this game is, uh, spawned some of my favorite, uh, another one of my favorite games, uh, and actually quite a few, uh, okay, we're gonna get hit, and yeah, see, okay, hold on, there's some bullshit right there, so that was gold armor, um, and I lost my armor, you would think the game wouldn't be such a bastard that, uh, when I grabbed it, it would be like, oh, you get go, okay, oh, I had to jump, uh, but you would think the game would be like, well, there's gold armor, let's just fully up, nope, screw you, right back to basics. Um, damn it, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, um, so there's another game. Um, uh, I grabbed the javelin. Fuck. Okay, well, you know what, we'll take the axe, because screw it. Um, so there's an enemy in this game called the, uh, the Red Aramer. Uh, he's basically like a red and blue devil. Um, if you've played, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, actually, you'll, you'll know him as Firebrand. Um, I don't, I don't play Marvel vs. Capcom, but I know he's in there. Um, anyway, so, there's been a couple spin-offs thanks to, uh, Ghosts and Goblins slash Ghouls and Ghosts, and I'm dead. So, um, w one of the first spin-offs games was, um, Gargoyle's Quest, where the main character is the Red Aramer, or Firebrand, from this game. Uh, and then there's Gargoyle's Quest 2, but, after that, oh, oh yes. Um, after that, uh, there was a game put out called, uh, Demon's Crest, which, if you haven't played it or heard of it, I, look it up, just play it, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's probably one of my favorite platformers on the Super Nintendo, uh, other than this and, uh, Super Metroid. Which, if you didn't know, that's where Super Missiles, son of a bitch, that's where Super Missiles comes from. Um... A little bit of trivia for you. Uh, but yeah, Gar or not Gargoyles Quest. Uh, I actually I didn't like Gargoyles Quest too much because, eh. But uh oh, okay, yep. Oh, cool with the combo. Oh damn it. Um, but yeah, actually, uh, Demon's Crest is is really fun. I you know what I might even uh I might even play that at some point on on the channel. Um, actually you know what no I'm going to play that game because I love it and I haven't played it in a while. Uh, but there's been some other spin-offs. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, like I said, Firebrand. And I think even Arthur himself, um, they're both in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't know which one, because... I, eh. um, but also for the PlayStation, or PlayStation 2, I think it was the, the first PlayStation, uh, there was a game called Maximo, um, where you... it's I, I'm not sure if it's Arthur himself that you play as, uh, but that game is based on uh, uh, ghouls and ghosts uh, slash ghosts and goblins. Uh, I did. I played it when I was. Oh, awesome! Played it when I was younger, but I don't believe I got you know too far in it. Um, but yeah, that is a thing. Now that fuck that chest. That is a mimic. So yeah, a lot of good stuff has come from uh, from this game, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, you know, you check something. Okay, check some of them out for yourself, and you, know, you can agree or disagree. I don't care. Either way, this game's still amazing. Okay, so this part of the game sucks, just like whoa, just like every other part of the game because it's fucking hard. 
Awesome. So these mimics are everywhere, and they'll do stuff like that to you. <sighs> they will kill you, just like everything else. But, you know, what can you do? I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but, um... You know, there's, there's a lot I want to say about this game. Um... It, but there's, you know, it, I, I don't know. Fuck. Well, good, there we go. Well, whatever. That went just about as well as expected. Oh, this is a this is actually a screen I'm going to be seeing quite a bit. So, look forward to that. Anyway, um, I think that's a good place to stop this. Um, I'm going to play some more of it. Um, I think I'm only going to do... I'll make this like a three-part thing. Um, I'm not going to play through the whole game because, like I said, it's kind of a chore. I mean, hey, you know, who knows? I might change my mind, um, you know, later on and just go all the way in with it. Um, that's what she said. But for now, we're going to stop. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode if you want to check it out. Uh, if you like this video, yeah, you know what? Why not give it a thumbs up if you feel like it? Or comment. Um, if you have any experiences with this game, you played it before, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of it is. Or most hated part, because I have quite a few, which I'll probably talk about. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, you can always subscribe. If not, that's cool. You can, all, you know, just kind of check back every now and then. Um, Alright, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later.